Hey, what's up guys? I feel like coming at you with a very, very special box opening today. Due to uh, the suggestion of my local card shop, Kuma Cards, which is located in Glen Ferry, near Glen Ferry train station, uh, they suggested that I open up a Final Fantasy Opus 5 pre-release pack because uh, I've mentioned many times to them that um, I actually like Lightning because I like Life Final Fantasy XIII. It's only one of the only Final Fantasy games I've played, and I know everyone says it's a bad game, but the characters visually are very appealing to me. I really like Lightning, and I really like Sarah. So um, I, I originally remember opening up, at the very beginning of Final Fantasy, I opened up some Final Fantasy Opus One, and I got the thirteen uh, starter deck. And I remember the game being quite interesting, it's not really something I was personally into a lot at the time, but uh, they suggested I open up this because it does come with a guaranteed lightning promo, which was very, very nice. And uh, hopefully we can pull up some awesome cards and it gives something a little bit different for you guys to see. So anyway guys, without any further ado, let's get into the packaging uh, box. So I, I apologise in advance that I don't know, probably not going to know a lot of the characters or the cards we're going to see here. Um, but, you know, let's still take a look and see what we get. So inside... One thing that uh, surprised me about this is actually we get sleeves. However much the promo is, so very, very nice. Foiling is actually really nice on Final Fantasy cards, especially the thing that also has the Opus 5 pre-release written there. Um, and then, of course, she's from 13, so um, obviously that is relevant for some effects, I do remember that. Uh, haste, obviously, same as that. And if you guys don't know, forward means they are basically attack cards, back up is mana. Um, all cards in Final Fantasy have to have only have power. They don't have attack and def they don't have attack and defense or power and toughness. Um, this is an interesting cards. So at the end of your turn, return lightning to its owner's hand. Now, from what I remember about Final Fantasy, um, also she's only a two drop, so that's actually a pretty decent. A lot of the, one of the main elements of Final Fantasy uh, card game, at least when I played it, I'm not sure if they changed much about it, is that one of the main elements of mana is actually cards in your hand. So being able to play this for two mana, and then dropping it, swinging because it has haste, and you can bounce back to your hand. Really good. Seems like a really good rush card, um, which is pretty cool. So obviously the sleeves are very, very nice. And that's something that I actually really am uh, surprised about because um, when I've done pre-releases before for Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh, um, you know, you want to sleeve your cards and you don't normally get sleeves. And the fact that you get sleeves for your pre-release um, is is really nice. And of course they say the Opus 5 pre-release and these are actually really decent looking sleeves. I, unfortunately, guys, I don't know any of the characters on the sleeves, but um, if we take into account that they're like 15 bucks each, I mean, yeah. That's already half the value back. I'm not sure how much the lightning promo is going to be. Um, but, I mean, she looks really nice. And if you guys want a lightning promo, a guaranteed lightning, I mean, there, there she is. She looks really nice. Really nice guaranteed foil lightning. So, anyway, guys, let's get into the packs. We do get six. I believe it is a, guar it is a guaranteed foil per pack, like magic. Um, so, let's take a look. Lightning is on all the booster packs. So, let's... Uh, yeah, so you get 12 cards. Wow. Uh, so you get 148, 166 premium cards. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So their set has 60 commons, 42 rares, 32 heroes, 14 legends, and 106 premium. So obviously a hero and legend are, um, I guess, the exclusive rarities for this card game. So let's uh, take a look. I haven't opened the last in a for a very long time. So let's get started. So we have a... Uh, Thunder Mature, so it's pretty cool. Uh, Red Mage, so this is one of the backups. This is basically how you use mana in the game. You can have five of these. Uh, we got another Ore Drop. So these symbols up here mean that you can have as many of them in your deck as you are uh, on the field as you want, because there's this thing has this. This game has like Legend Rule where you can only have one of each character on the field, which is a really cool idea that they have for the game. But um, there are decks based around like cards, like certain lightnings in the game, that, or not just lightning, I'm just using lightning in general because I want to build a deck around her, where if you, I can't remember what the effect's called, but if you discard a lightning, um, it gets extra effects. So you can play lots of different lightnings in your deck, you know, you just have one on the field, which is pretty cool. Which is one of the things I like that promo, because you can swing with her, bounce it back to your hand, and then when you have more mana, you can play, actually play a stronger lightning. Assassin. Uh, we have the Arcanist, which is cool. Ooh, so this is our foil. So it is just a S rare, whatever this is. Uh, Uringer, that's pretty cool. Uh, Gabareth, so this is a rare. Uh, Leoc. Uh, Gadot from Final Fantasy XIII. I actually do remember this from one of the opening scenes. Uh, a hero, I believe this is a new rare. I don't actually remember seeing this. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I don't know if we're guaranteed anything um, 
yeah, from these pre-release packs in particular, like they're guaranteed from this pack, like guaranteed uh, legend or something, which I think the legendary foils are what we uh, what we want normally for this. So uh, we have Master Monk, we have Ranger, we have the Green Mage, to go with our Red Mage, uh, the Kunia. Oh, we have another Red Mage, which is pretty cool. We have an Orator, we have the White Mage. We have uh, Wilthia, so this is a hero rare, Rifa. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a Doga, it's rare. We have Destin, so it's another rare. We have the Tonberry. And then our hero rare is Kamlun. Uh, I cannot pronounce that. <laughs> so that's our second pack, guys. Let's go into our third pack. I will say, the one thing I like about the Final Fantasy cards is the backs actually feel really, really nice. If you guys haven't um, actually felt Final Fantasy, see that little like texture, I don't know if you can see it with my camera, but the texture of the Final Fantasy cards on the back is actually really, really nice. So they obviously put a lot of money into these cards. Well, I'm not sure how much money you put them, but the backs do feel really nice. So we have Scholar, we have the Warrior, we have Mateus the, uh, the Corrupt. Metis the Corrupt, that's actually a pretty cool looking card. Uh, we have Ondor. We have the Trickster, which is a duck of some kind. We have Miner. Oh, she's real. Oh, I like her. She's cute. Uh, Ravenger. So she choose one active. Then Lightning Miner. Choose one active for deal at 4k damage. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have Edward. So this is our foil hero, which is pretty cool. Mjolnir. And uh, Baedon. And uh, we have Kava, Kalia. Kala Chival. Ooh, oh boy, we get lightning. So we get a foil lightning and a non-foil lightning to uh, go together. So I've already got two lightnings, so I'm uh, I'm pretty happy, guys. Still don't have any legends or what is it? Legends or, yeah, we still don't have any legends. Which is a bit of a shame. But let's, uh, let's keep going. So we have the green mage again. We have Losing Ox. Um, shame that there's no, like, Sarah cards. Oh, so EX. This is a really cool effect uh, that the game has as well. So basically, you take damage similar to Vanguard, and then when you reveal these cards with the EXs, you can do the EX Burst, so you get to do this effect, which is pretty cool. Which is a nice little um, unique element that the game had at the time. I think it's they have something similar in Caster Chronicles now. So Thief. We have uh, Parivir. We have Azura. So this is another EX Burst, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have the Fisher, we have the Cockatrice, which is another EX Burst, we have the uh, Caius, we have Herdy, uh, we have Andoria, which is uh, pretty cool, then we have a, ooh, a Legendary, the Emperor. So when the Emperor enters the field, you may pay one of any mana. If you do, your opponent discards one card from his or her hand. And when your opponent draws a card outside his or her draw phase, you may choose one forward. Your opponent controls dull it, which is basically tap and freeze it. I'm not sure off the top of my head what freeze is, um, but this guy looks pretty cool. So we did get one Legendary. I'm not sure if it has too much value. Um, I believe they use TCG Player for the, uh, for the prices on this. I'm not 100% sure. So we got two packs left, guys. So we got a Legendary and we got two Lightnings. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so we got the Psycom Enforcer. It reminds me of Cyborg a lot. Uh, we have Rex. Is this from 13? No, this is from 12. Uh, the Psycom Warden. The Berserker, which is, I believe that's Final Fantasy Tactics. The Scholar. The Massive and Warmech. The Ninja. Let me name the Ninja. Uh, the Arcanist. Uh, we have uh, the Heretic Knight Girland. We have Nagi. We have the Karulia. Ooh, another hero. A hero rare. So we have Yang. So, so far we only have one legendary. We have one pack left and we've pulled two lightnings. Can we pull one more legendary from our pack? Let's have a look. So we have the Ifrit, which is the name of uh, the Cody Spirit actually from Daylight, which is pretty cool. Uh, Flintlock. We have Vane. Gesper, the Leviathan, the Great Leviathan, uh, Reared, Cockatrice again, uh, non-foil, uh, we have a foil rare of Echo, Ooh, she's pretty cute, uh, we have Grenade, interesting, we have uh, Semilafina, we have Une, and oh boy, another legend, we have Van. 
So when Van attacks, choose up to two of the five following actions. Oh wow, that's 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 pretty good. Draw a card, choose one backup, activate it. Uh, choose one forward, dull it. Choose one forward, it gains 2k. And choose one forward, it cannot block. Hmm, that seems pretty good for five mana. And then um, I remember, I think black was colorless mana. So guys, we got two legendaries um, out of six packs. I don't know if that's good. If it is, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, I guess. I mean... Two legends, I mean, theoretically, I guess, that means we make money back. But, I mean, I'm happy because I got um, two lightning cards. But, anyway, guys, getting sleeves as well is pretty, pretty cool. But, anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out my video. And, like I said, if you guys are in the Glen Perry area for its Swinburne University, why not go check out Kuma Cards? They're an awesome store where they have Magic, Final Fantasy, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon, lots of different card games you guys can check out and have some fun. There's a lot of people who come in there during the day, especially during the uni time. So guys, I definitely recommend checking it out and I'll catch you guys soon for my next video.